I finally done it. Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro Wired, a wireless gaming headset for PS5 and Xbox. Now you can be able to use it to stream on Streamlabs or OBS using a Mac. And I'm gonna teach you that in today's video. Let's talk about it. What's going on you wonderful people? My name is Brandon and welcome to Creighton TV. This video here is gonna be a two-step method where I teach you how to set up the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wired or wireless gaming headset with the Elgato chat link cable or no chat link cable. Just before we get started, a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your SteelSeries gaming headset, the Elgato chat link cable, whether it's the regular or the pro one. You're also gonna need your game deck right here. Also, you're gonna to wanna to go over to Google Type in Elgato, you wanna click on downloads where it says filter by system over here to the right. You wanna click on Mac and wanna give a big shout out to Midnight Man for bringing this to my attention about something that Elgato has released that's new. You're gonna to wanna to download the capture device utility. And this is compatible with the HD60X and the HD60S Plus. So it's only compatible with these two capture cards. Once installed, open it up. And what this software does right here is the capture device utility. When you have your capture card connected to your Mac computer, when you have that whatever one it is, whether it's the HD60S Plus or the HD60X, it's gonna be able to allow you to be able to switch your audio from analog audio easily or HDMI audio. So this first method I'm going to show you is gonna use the chat link cable. So you wanna make sure you have it set to analog audio. This is gonna put all your audio through here. So let me teach you how to set this up right now so you can be able to stream with your Still Series gaming headset on PS5 and Xbox. So when it comes to setting up the Elgato chat link cable, it's really simple. You can follow this little diagram right here. This is from the Elgato chat link cable pro. If you don't have the pro, just use the regular, both the same thing. Only difference is this has an isolator, which means when you use your controller and you plug it to the controller, you don't hear the electricity wires from the wire, the controller charging. But using this chat link cable, you will not be plugging it to the controller at all. There will be no method plugging it to the controller. So I also wanna give a shout out to Elgato Support for letting me know that when, you, when you're using this with the game deck, you do not need to plug it to the controller. So thank you Elgato Support for all that and for your help. So the way you set this up, when you get your chat link cable, there's gonna be three ends. You got your long side, if you like all these cables and everything else, you got you know, where your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack goes to. This is the end right here that goes into the controller from the short side. This part right here, you're gonna take your game deck base station and you're gonna plug it into the line out port on the back of your game deck. This is for Still Series Gaming Headset. And this is what you should look like. The other side in, you got the long side that comes right here. You wanna plug that into your capture card, whether you're using the Elgato HD60S Plus or the Elgato HD60X. Plug that into the, the uh, import on your capture card from there. So then you should have this kind of setup. So if you're using the Xbox and you got this Still Series, just make sure you plug into Xbox. PlayStation, use the U USB. And this is all that you're gonna to need to set this up. And then you'll take your, if you have the wired uh, gaming headset, you'll take this end right here and you're gonna plug it to here. So you get it. And the wireless ones, you'll be doing the same thing also. If you have a wire for your wireless headset, whatever dongle piece that you have there, you'll be plugging it to your line out port. This is the easy method. This part right here will go to your headset. Now you're simple all set up and let me show you how it looks on Streamlabs that is pulling audio and everything else. Yes, so now here we are on Streamlabs desktop on Mac OS. And as you can see over here on the right hand side in my mixer settings that my Elgato HD60S Plus capture card is pulling audio with the setup using the chat link cable. You see that I have my microphone going right now that is bouncing, but I am pulling audio and it's pulling audio from the capture card. So this is how you use your Still Series Arctis Nova Pro gaming headset to be able to stream on OBS and Mac using the Elgato chat link cable. The next method that I'm about to show you is gonna use no cap, capture, uh, chat link cable at all, but then you're gonna be listening through the audio through the computer. Now, as you can see, I'm using the PS5 DualSense Edge. There's no wires connected to this, so I'm free. I can do that. Everything's going through on the headset. I can still use the game deck itself let me show you that here. 
So if you see, this is all the cables, capture card plugged in back there. I'm still able to use a solid microphone that's plugged into the PlayStation. I don't have to use the microphone itself on the Still Series headset. You see, I got my game deck. It's fit. Uh, all the functions still work. Knob, audio settings. I can still do this, do this and listen to party chat. So when you when you setting this up, make sure you take the long end, plug it into the capture card. The short end that's connected to this end on this side goes into your headset here. The other end goes into the line out port, line out port. And you can see right there, the capture card is pulling audio and you're good to go. I can bring it up if I need to. So whether the game is, you know, sufficient or I can turn it up there and be able to make it louder. But yes, this is Streamlabs desktop on a Mac and I am pulling audio. Now, let me show you the other method with this next method without using the chat link cable at all. No chat link cable. This is how you're going to want to do. You're going to make sure you want to also close out Streamlabs, close it out, and then you're going to have to reopen it. So remember that Elgato uh, capture utility that I told you about. Now, if you want to use it with no Elgato chat link cable because you don't like cables and you're like me, and you want it to be more simple and minimized, you want to switch over back over to HDMI audio. Why? Because now all your audio is coming through HDMI. So what you got to do, you're going to want to unplug the game deck from your PlayStation. Take that cable, plug it into your Max dongle, especially if you got a MacBook and you don't have the USB port, you're going to need a dongle. So you're going to want to plug that, this cable here into a USB slot port on your Mac computer. Mine's plugged, it's plugged in. As you see, the game deck is powering up. Now we're using the audio strictly through HDMI. You want to open up Streamlabs, unplug the controller, and your SteelSeries wired gaming headset where you have to use this piece here. You're going to want to plug that. Yes, so this feature piece that's going to be right here goes into the back of the line out port on the game deck, which is right here. You're going to plug that in. That way you can listen to your audio coming through the computer. And let's get back to it. So once you plug your headphone port into there, now you can see that I'm pulling in audio. Last step on Mac OS, what you want to do so you can hear the audio coming through on the headset. You want to go to your system settings, scroll down to sound on your out port. You want to make sure you select the Arctis Nova Pro so you can hear them coming through on your computer. Your input, you can still leave it as whatever uh, microphone that you are using. So for me, I'm using my HyperX Quadcast and that's for your input and you should be good to go to listen through all your audio over HDMI that gives you more features and everything else. So there you have it. Now you're able to set up your SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro wired or wireless gaming headset on your PS5 or your Xbox to be able to stream on OBS or Streamlabs on a Mac using the Elgato chat link cable or with no chat link cable. So let me know in the comment section, what method will you prefer? Will you prefer to use the chat link cable with having all those cables, or you wanna use no cables and just run it through the computer? Let me know that about that in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and this tutorial was able to help you out, like this video, subscribe if you are new. Other than that, you should watch this video here of our latest Still Series Arctis Nova Pro Wire gaming headset and teaching you how to update the headset on a Mac and then what you need to do. So follow that video, watch it right here. Other than that, this is your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV. I'll see you in the next video. Go watch that video here. Take care and God bless. Peace.